Hey everyone, Connie here today with back with another video on the Bay TV. Um, look, I'm going to be brutally honest, because I think we all need to hear it. It's ended in a 1-0 loss against Alvaro with my match reaction. We're going to do player ratings tomorrow, and there's going to be some harsh player ratings. But I think the players, the players need to hear it, because, because it wasn't good enough against Alba. It was, I'm going to say, it, it's probably been the worst Bay performance I've seen. And probably the worst one we've seen in a long, long time. You know, because we had that 12-month period of unbeaten. And then coming into this league, yeah, you've lost loads of games. But that one was, I know it was only 1-0, but we were dominated. Second half, the first half, we'll go first half. First half was appalling. They just dominated and dominated and dominated, you know. He had a man sent off at the end of the first half. It was a red. Um, in my opinion, it's all day red, I think. Um, it, yeah, it's it's not good enough. That first half was definitely not good enough. Brought Nick Russian on to try and get something out of the game. Um, he came on for Kai. We were going a lot more attackive. Um, it looked like we were going to try and produce some out of the game and you know at the end of the day we we didn't and we did have we had three strike three attackers on the bench we had three starting and at the end of the match all six had played and we still couldn't score that does concern me a little bit you know yeah Lloyd and Sam haven't had the amount of minutes to probably gain a bit of confidence and score a few goals but Still, I don't think it was it was at the level we need, you know, and it first half was just it was it was painful to watch. It was because we're better than that. I know we are, and we've got to get behind the bay. We do have to get behind the bay. I'm not I'm not trying to be negative. I, I want to be positive. I'm usually very positive, even if we lose, you know, but. That force wasn't acceptable, you know. We go we go again against Ponty, obviously. Um, that sh like I say, it should be a win, even with the current foot. But with the current form, form we're currently on, it might not be a win, you know. So it's a tough one to gauge. Um, Ponty can't really score goals, but neither can we in recent times. So it's going to be a tight one, um, and I'll give my predictions later on in the week. Ho hopefully, anyway. Um, player ratings will come out tomorrow. Um, second half, better, um, but we conceded straight from kickoff. They they kicked off, launched the ball long. I think Sam Mark clears it. I'm not sure. And then someone has a shot from long distance. Joe does his best. It hits the bar. Joe's in the back of the net. Joe can't do anything, and he, it's pretty much an open net for. Um, I think it was Liam Walsh who scored for Aberystwyth, with and then they they went defensively from there you know and, and we just we went out attack and it's disappointing because you know we just couldn't score on that day and you can see the confidence is not there but you know when, when you're playing a team you get like Abba and you're expecting to get three points or at least a point out of that game and you don't it's a bit concerning you know um, hopefully you know, we bring players in in January. You know, hopefully, hopefully all this defense defensive situation because I think like Steph's playing a lot of minutes at his age. Samar as well is playing out positions. Alex as well is playing out position. You know, it, you got to look at it and say, well, no one's really playing in position except Joe, obviously. And we don't have that out and out striker to. Get it, even if we do go worn down, we don't have that striker to score the goals. Hopefully, Dan Atkins can. He is, I, uh, I don't know if everyone knows this, but he is suspended. Um, was suspended for the next two games when he joined us, which one of them he's already um, missed, which was Aberystwyth. So he's got one more game uh, suspended, which is um, Pontypridd. Yes, um, he'll be with us for the second phase. Hopefully he can find the back of the net because we need it. We need him to score goals. We need to make an instant impact if we want to stay up. Um, I'm there's something happening. Uh, I don't know if this video will come out on time at eight, eight, at eight 
eight o'clock. Um, currently recording this at just past six. So, you know, um, you kind of, kind of got to hope. I think it's a signing. I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, hope hopefully it is. Um, yeah, we yeah. All I can say is it's a poor poor performance. My player ratings are not going to be great. Um, six is the average. Remember that. And I'm not many players get a six from um, when I'm going to do the video. Not many players are going to get a six. No one's getting higher than a six. No one's getting a seven, eight, nine, ten. No, six is going to be the highest I give to, give out tomorrow. And you know, players who I thought did well, um, or okay, better than the rest, shall we say? I'm gonna go through it. Here. You know, I thought Joe did all right. You know, I mean, yeah, I conceded that one goal, but you know, ultimately, I think he did all right. And you know, at times he came out a bit late to get the ball, but we didn't concede, so I feel like you got to credit him. And at the moment, I know people probably go have a go at him for not coming out early. At, enough but ult ultimately that's probably just in a moment I think I think Joe did quite well another player I think did well was Alex he did wet better than the others still not a great performance from Alex but he was he was passing balls or trying to make those long balls instead of trying to take them all himself which is not usual really he um he usually does take them on doesn't he but um yeah I think he did an alright game you know, McCready, probably one of our best player on the pitch, our best player on the pitch. He was, he, he tried, he tried. You could see he was trying to do some, some, something up front, and he's a midfielder. He's not, and he's, he's defensive. He's defensive and attacker, but you know, he's, he can't do everything, and he did really well. I think for a very poor side against Abba, and you know, you got to respect him. You really got to respect Tom McCready. Um, is there anyone else? Dan did all right, I suppose. There's a few times where I think he could have been better. Um, for most of these people, actually, Lloyd, Nick, and Sam when they came on, they they all did all right. You know, Lloyd was making the runs. Sam was had a few shots. Nick, I think, tried to do. Thing he did lose the ball a few times. Nick, but at one point, I'm pretty sure he lost the ball. And then ran back to defend it, and he did get the ball back, so he redeemed himself there, you know. But yeah, I feel like we need we need signings, you know. Maybe maybe you you could have brought ever uh, you could have brought ever one. He wasn't on the bench. You could have brought Downey on in the midfield instead of Nick at half time to kind of, you know, we're still in this because it was nil nil at half time. We're still in this, but we tried to go for that goal, which I think didn't cost us, but. We wanted to go attacking minded and it just we switched off and yeah, it's unacceptable. So um I hope I think we'll beat Ponty. and I hope we beat Ponty because I'm still gonna back the bay. We all need to back the bay, you know. Doesn't matter whether they're winning games or losing games, you've still gotta back the bay because at the end of the day they need it. And you know, if you don't back the bay you criticize them. I know I've just done but you know they do need it at times, and I will give it to them when when I feel like it's appropriate, and I'll praise them when it, when it's appropriate as well. Um, and yeah, it it was not a good enough performance. We've can have them four nil. I thought it was bad enough, but in that game we we had chances and chances. You know to to just we 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 played quite well for we dominated against Carvan at times. I brushed with. I I didn't. We didn't create enough, to score opportunities. And you know that's that's the um, annoying thing about it. But player ratings tomorrow, a bit more depth on every player. It's gonna be a tough one, um, but I feel like the players need to hear it and the fans as well because it's my it's my opinion, by the way. Um, and I'm open to anyone else's, but um, you know I think we can all agree it wasn't good enough. It wasn't great performance, and we are capable of better. I know we are. I'm gonna support the bay. 
even in this difficult situation, I still we're obviously in the bottom half now. I to do I hope Carava comes down so we've got someone to play up north. Um and I also think you know it's if you look up look about it, Pon Penna Bon are now in the bottom half due to their three point deduction, I'm pretty sure. Um I think they're appealing against it. But they're in the bottom half. We beat them twice. Ponty we beat them once. Abba we beat them once. Barry we beat them once. Yes, that was a cut, but still beating them and drawn to them. So they're winnable games at the bottom if we can find confidence. If we beat Ponty, I feel like the confidence is going to lift a bit. Um, but a bit more depth in my um, match preview predictions, whatever. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye!